Uh, my main concerns uh, are related to the building of uh, free and democratic societies where people can discuss openly the beliefs uh, and practices uh, of one another. This means that the religious uh, communities should be open to criticism uh, of their uh, values, uh, of their doctrines, of their practices, but should also be able to engage in critical dialogue with uh, non-religious uh, sectors of society, because sometimes we have uh, this idea that some religions don't want to be criticized, but we also have the idea that some uh, secular sectors don't want to to be subject to criticism. Uh, and so we have to engage in open, uh, free, and uh, honest dialogue and really assess the, the s social significance of many doctrines and practices and also many uh, secular convictions uh, in, a, in a free and open uh, encounter. You know, one, one thing is uh, really to try to identify clearly uh, the, the problems and, uh, and the questions that divide the different sectors of society. Uh, to identify them clearly and to be able to promote dialogue, um, honest dialogue uh, over them. And of course, uh, it's also important to know to, dis uh, to agree to disagree. You know, sometimes, sometimes we, we don't come to an agreement and uh, we should not expect that people agree uh, with one another on all the subjects. So we have to find uh, uh, some ways uh, of compromising uh, in a good sense, in a sense that we take into account the perspectives of the, of the others and try to respect them and honor them, but also uh, uh, be able to assert our own uh, and, and uh, have them also respected by, by others. Yeah, you know, uh, both freedoms can uh, have a very uh, important and good social impacts, but they also can uh, bring in some problems. So we have to uh, take into account that uh, uh, these freedoms want to promote individual dignity and autonomy, uh, you know, the, the respect for democracy and the rule of law, but also they can create tensions because you, you, you find yourself uh, living with people that have different values, different uh, practices uh, and, and different uh, ideals from those you hold. Uh, and so you have to, to create a means of uh, constructive dialogue between uh, religious communities uh, and also the academia, the universities, uh, the, the state uh, and the courts. Yes, you know, there are, there are uh, di different issues that we, we sometimes we treat, uh, treat them as the elephants in the room. But uh, I think that we should uh, admit clearly that there are uh, 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 divergences with th those issues, such as, for instance, um, uh, LGBT theory, uh, gender theory, uh, critical race theory, you know, issues concerning uh, COVID, uh, climate change, uh, and things like that. So sometimes those issues uh, create tensions, but we should be able to address them clearly, uh, honestly, and, and uh, learn uh, that we, we may not agree, but we have to, we have to to coexist peacefully with one another. Uh, you know, overall, I think that uh, the, the topics have been very important and the, the main idea is that no one should expect that his own positions would be uh, above criticism and immune to, to challenge. So uh, here we are uh, presenting our opinions and, and having them also challenged by, by, um, by the public. Uh, and that, that's how democracy works, you know, democracy requires that we all should have our 
we all should be ready to have our opinions challenged. And that's something that we have to learn. We have to learn to listen to the other opinions and even if, if necessary, be ready to be persuaded by them and really also to change our own and to learn with the, the perspectives of, of others. You know, the purpose of this center and uh, the purpose uh, of our university is really to show that human rights, it's not an ideology, it's not a secular religion, but it is a, um, a number of legal uh, constraints that allow people from different perspectives, different religions, different ideologies to coexist peacefully and to interact critically with one another. And so it, it's not a, a secular religion, but it, it's a place where secular and religious people can come uh, and share their own perspectives and learn uh, to, to really uh, engage with each other and, and be ready to learn with each other.